In this very quick video, I want to show you how you can add view transitions to your website, at least locally, to prototype it out and decide if you want to add it in for real. Here I'm on the TED blog and I'm navigating through. I'm on a fast internet connection. It's fine. It's snappy. You could argue that you might be able to bring a bit more joy and delight to your users with a smoother navigation effect as you're navigating through this. To do that, I'm going to open up DevTools and while on the sources panel, I first need to enable overrides. Go to the overrides pane, select folder for overrides. I've made one on my desktop already. Select that and allow permission to write to that. Let me just zoom in there. Next, I need to find any old CSS file. So I'll go to the network panel, reload the TED blog, and I'll just pick the first CSS file I can see. Right click on that and select open in sources panel. And from here, I can pretty much make changes to that and have that persist on the actual TED blog. Of course, this is all locally only. And I just need to paste these few lines of CSS. That's the app view transition at rule with a navigation of auto, and that will enable a crossfade transition. I'll hit save and you see that little purple icon. That means it's basically been written to my file system. And now as I start navigating through, you see, you've got that very subtle crossfade effect and it is what you see. It's very subtle. It's nice in my opinion. And that's all there is to it. Adding view transitions in what one, two minutes through DevTools to decide if you want to add it for real.